Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at systems of equations and we're gonna focus in on the equal values method. So let's jump right into an example problem and see how we can use this method to solve for a solution to a system. And there's my system right there. I have two equations. The first is y equals x plus two. The second is y equals four x plus 23. These are both lines and we're trying to determine where those lines intersect. And one method that we have is the equal values method. We use the equal values method when both equations are equal to the same variable. Notice that the first guy starts with y equals and the second equation also starts with y equals. That means these two pieces at the end, x plus two, four x plus 23, they must be equal to each other because if they're both equal to y, then they have to be equal to each other. So now we're gonna use the equal values method to solve for that point where these lines intersect. So again, I know that x plus two is going to equal four x plus 23. We know that they are equal because they both equal y. Now all we have to do is solve that for x. We wanna get x by itself, we wanna isolate our variable. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I'm gonna subtract this x on the left side Switch it over to red so we can see that. I'm gonna move that x variable over from the left side to the right side just to sort of keep my x term positive. What happens is those x's on the left are gonna zero out. I'm still left with positive two equaling, well, four x's, take away one x, will leave us with three x's, and I still have my plus 23 at the end. Because I moved my x from the left side to the right side, I now wanna move my constant this plus 23 right here, I wanna move that over to the left side. To do that, we'll do the opposite and we'll subtract 23 on both sides. Go ahead and write that down. Make sure you show all your steps here. What's really nice is on that right side, the 23's zero out. 23 minus 23 does give you zero. So on the right side, all I have left is three X. Now on the left side, I have two minus 23. That's gonna take us to a negative number now that equals negative 21. If you don't believe me, get a calculator and check that out. Okay, we almost have x all by itself. We've isolated the x term, but we have three x's. We don't want three x's, we want one x. So to get rid of this coefficient out in front, we're gonna divide both sides by three. Doing that, three x divided by three is gonna cancel out those threes, leave us with just x equals and negative 21 divided by three gives us negative seven. That right there shows you that we have our X term is negative seven. We're trying to find a point, remember? Our goal here is to find the point where those lines intersect. That is a coordinate point. I now know that it's going to be the X term will be negative seven. All I have to do now is find that missing Y term. And here's the point where you get to choose which equation we use, because we have two up there. We have Y equals X plus two, we have y equals 4x plus 23. It really doesn't matter which equation we use, but we wanna solve for y now. I think we should use the first one, y equals x plus two, right? That equation there is way simpler than the equation on the right. It doesn't matter which one we use, but to help us with some work, I think we should use that left one. So again, what is x? Well, we solved for x, and x ended up equaling negative seven. So I have negative seven, plus two, get a calculator out if you struggle with negatives, but negative seven plus two gives us negative five. So the coordinate point where those two equations intersect, those two lines intersect, is the point negative seven, negative five. And we did that using the equal values method. We did it because both equations there equaled y. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.